Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Wonderhelm Games, and we're back with another Blackadder uh, reaction. This is Macadder and the Duel. So um, this was part of Blackadder the Third. I have to say, Rowan doing the part of um, Macadder is <laughs> very, very good, and the accent was spot on. So let's check this out. It's been a while since I've seen this kind of clip. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content as usual. And let's get going. Well, goodbye, sir. And may the best man win, i.e., me. Your tea, sir. You're late! <laughs> Where the hell have you been for in India? <laughs> Salon? <laughs> China? <laughs> and don't bother to show me the way out. I don't want to die of old age before I get to the front door. <laughs> <laughs> ah, McGinnis. So, where's McKenna? I thought he was going to be here at um. 5 o'clock. Yes, I'm sorry. He's just popped out. You look ever so similar to each other, you know. It's quite eerie. Look, did you tell him to be here or not? I did, I did. You just seem to keep missing each other. I, I can't imagine why. I'll tell you why. That's because there's no coffee shop in England big enough for two black adders. Ah, good day, Cousin McAdder. I trust you are well. I am well enough. And Morag? She bides <laughs> fine. And how stands that Brilliant. mighty army, the clan Makada? They're both well. <laughs> They're both well. <laughs> I always thought that Jamie and Angus were such fine boys. Angus is a girl. <laughs> so, tell me, cousin. I hear you have a cunning plan. I do, I do. I want you to take the place of the Prince Regent. And kill the Duke of Wellington in a duel. Aye, and what's in it for me? Enough cash to buy the Outer Hebrides. What do you think? Fourteen shillings and sixpence. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, tempting. But I've got an even better plan. Why don't I pretend to be the Duke of Wellington and kill the Prince of Wales in a duel? Then I could kill the king and be crowned with the ancient stone bonnet of Macadar. And I shall wear the granite gown and limestone bodice of MacMiggins, queen of all the herds. Look, for God's sake, Macadar, you're not Rob Roy. You're a top kipper salesman with a reputable firm of Aberdeen fishmongers. Don't throw it all away. If you kill the prince, they'll just send the bailiffs round and arrest you. Oh, blast. I forgot the bailiffs. So we can return to our original plan, then? No, I'm not interested. I'd rather go to bed with the Loch Lomond monster. And besides, I have to be back in the office on Friday. I promised Mr. McNulty I'd shift a particularly difficult bloater for him. <laughs> Forget the whole thing. I'm off home with Migsy. Yes, yes. Mm. Show me the glen where the kipper roams free. And forget Morag forever. No, never. We must do right by Morag. We must return to Scotland and you must fight her in the old Highland way. Bare breasted and each carrying an eight pound baby. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Babies! Mm. Oh, you're a woman of spirit. I look forward to burying you in the old Highland manor. Farewell, Black Arrow, <laughs> you spineless goon. <laughs> oh, Fortune vomits on my eider down once <laughs> Okay, I thought I would have shown you the actual duel part, but um, maybe we'll see it in another clip. Who knows? Best man win. I me. <laughs> oh, but hard to get enough of them, isn't it? They're too good. Well, that's grand. We'll see you again in the next clip, in the next episode. Until then, take care, folks. Bye.